All right, so as expected, in preparation for part two of the sixth anniversary, which is starting in about three days from now, Global just got a brand new data download. And in today's video, we're gonna check out exactly what we got in this data download and give you guys a quick preview of some of the units slash awakenings that you can expect to see in part two, okay? So with all that said, let's just jump right into it. Actually, real quick, I wanna give a shout out to Air Dokkan on Twitter for posting all of these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then uh, definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's start from the top here. And the first thing we'll get is the Token Awakening or TUR for the Tech Ultimate Gohan. Or sorry, no, uh, Tech Roshi and Tien. I don't know where Ultimate Gohan came from. I mean, I was just farming the Lynx for the new Gohan and Piccolo, so maybe that's why. But anyways, uh, yeah, Awakening for the free to play Tech Master Roshi and Tien. We also have the LR Awakening for the LR Master Roshi, the TUR for the Krillin and 18, and the Fizz Ultra Instinct Goku is finally getting his awakening after all these years. So those are four awakenings we can expect to see in part two. And we also have the awakening medals for each one. This one of course is for the Roshi. This is for the Krillin and 18. This one's for Tien and Roshi. And lastly, we have the Fizz UI Goku Awakening Medal 2. And scrolling down from there, now this is probably what I would expect most people to be the, you know, most excited for when it comes to part two, at least for the free-to-play stuff. And uh, of course, it's the Extreme Z Awakening for Int Ultra Instinct Goku. Now, of course, when I say free-to-play, I mean the event is free for anybody to do. But of course, this guy is not free-to-play. But uh, yeah, man, he's getting an Extreme Z Awakening. And obviously at this point, I know a lot of people were expecting it because people do tend to follow the JP news, right? But when this guy's Extreme Z Awakening first was announced on JP for their anniversary, it was a huge deal, man, because people did not see it coming. I know I didn't see it coming. I was not expecting a category lead Pokemon Fest unit to get an EZA this early. So uh, it was it was definitely a shocker. Uh, I'm very happy about it, of course, but it was like a really big deal. And then of course in part two, or part three rather, they dropped an even bigger bomb on us when they announced the LR Goku and Frieza EZA. But uh, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, this guy, Int Ultra Instinct Goku, Extreme Z Awakening, Extreme Z Battle, also on the way. We have uh, his Extreme Z Battle Medal right there, translated in English. And finally, we're going to be getting set two or series two of the Peton Battle stickers slash cards. And I guess that means that a new Peton Battle is also on the way, which is pretty exciting. We'll take a look at the uh, various cards or stickers that will come with set two. And there's also going to be set one too. So if you're missing anything from set one, you're still good to go. But uh, yeah, new Peton Battle stuff coming. I love this mode, so definitely excited for that. And uh, that pretty much does it, guys. Nothing else um, from this data download. These are essentially what we were expecting. A few things that he didn't post here are probably like, you know, the, the new maps for the new stages, which isn't overly exciting, but some free stones there. And uh, that's probably it, actually. That's probably it. So let's pop over to the Tokon Wiki now. And like I said, we're going to take a look at the Peton Battle Series 2 cards. So for Series 1, it's numbers 1 to 37 for stickers. And for Series 2, it's going to be numbers 38 to 74. So it looks like a total of about 26 new stickers. And if we scroll down to number 38 here. So I believe these two are the... Uh, I forgot what the rarity is called, actually. But they're like the LRs, right? So we have LR... Uh, trunks and then we also have the LR androids and most of these stickers are going to be from the Android saga or uh, I should not sell saga. It's going to be wait, hold on. Yeah, it's going to be Android saga um, And a few you know movie stuff like the Tapion here We've got a future Gohan and another Tapion But there you go. Just a quick look at all the stickers 
and these are all you know the ones you can expect to collect once the second series comes out uh, I think at the start of part two which once again is in about three days on the 19th and now let's take a quick look at these free-to-play awakenings now uh, one thing to keep in mind is that all of these guys do also have extreme Z awakenings but the thing is their EZAs don't drop until part three of the anniversary so for now we get their TURs but we still don't get to use them in their most powerful state which kind of sucks but uh, I guess it gives us something to look forward to in part three as well which is which is cool I guess I mean I would have preferred an extreme Z awakening immediately to be honest but uh, yeah let's quickly go over their you know TUR but before extreme Z awakening details okay so starting with the Tien and Roshi Leader skill is going to be Earthlings, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense. And then passive is attack and defense plus 40%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack received up to 40%. And reps of Universe 7 category allies keep plus 1, and attack and defense plus 20%. Once again, this is before the EZA, and they will get better in part 3 after the Extreme Z Awaken. And then for the Krillin and 18, leader skill is Joint Forces, category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises attack, can be stacked infinitely, causes supreme damage, and then passive is changes Fizz Key Spheres to Int Key Spheres, launches an additional super attack with 6 or more Int Key Spheres obtained, and attack and defense plus 20% with each attack performed up to 100%. And then we have the LR Master Roshi, before easy 8 leader skill is Turtle School Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 80%, Super Attack, massively raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage, with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And then for the 12 key super, or sorry, no, that was the 12 key super, for the 18 key super, raises attack by 628% for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to enemy, and then passive is defense plus 100% and medium chance of evading enemies attacks. Turtle School Category Allies, key plus 2, and Attack and Defense plus 30%, and if HP, hold on. Oh, this is before EZA, okay, yeah, my bad. Um, for a second I was like, am I reading the Extreme Z Awakening details? No, so, uh, let me just start the passive from the start. Defense plus 100% and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Turtle School Category Allies, key plus 2, and Attack and Defense plus 30%, if HP is 50% or less, at start of, of character's attacking turn, and there are another two or more Turtle School category allies on the team, revives with 50% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking on the same turn is KO'd once only. So that is the revival skill for this Roshi, a free-to-play unit with the revival skill. Pretty crazy stuff. And then we have the active skill which uh, can be activated after the character receives seven or more times, attacks seven or more times in battle, and there is another Turtle School category ally attacking in the same turn, and the effect is massively raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and all allies key plus seven. So that is the LR Master Roshi. Before the EZA, obviously, his details get even better after the Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, lastly, we're going to talk about, actually no, we're going to talk about this guy and also the, of course, uh, NTY EZA. But first, the Fizz UI Doken Awakening, Leader Skill, Universe Survival Saga, key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack, Supreme Damage, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 80%, Universe Survival Saga, Category Allies, key plus 3. Not that impressive, he does get much, much better. And finally, we have the Int Ultra Instinct Goku, and I'm just going to go over his Extreme Z Awaken details, uh, because I'm sure most of you guys know what he does, you know, before the EZA. Leader skill is Realm of Gods, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or Int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Plus 100%. Uh, super attack raises attack and defense, and causes immense damage to enemy, infinitely stacking once again. And passive is attack and defense plus 150% and awakens when HP is 50% or below. And then once you awaken into, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku or 
Emua Goku. I know a lot of people don't like that name because technically it's not mastered, but anyways, once you awaken, um, his super attack becomes raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, and passive is Q plus 3, attack plus 200%, and defense plus 100%, and great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, disables enemies' guard, evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for one turn after awakening. So there you have it, guys. NTY Goku Extremes the Awakening, and the Dokkan Awakenings for... The UI Goku, Fizz UI Goku, Master Roshi, Krillin and 18, Tien and Roshi, all coming with part two. Extremes the Awakenings coming in part three, along with the LR Goku and Frieza, and also uh, Petom Battle Series 2 on the way as well. So lots of stuff to look forward to in part two, once again in three days on July 19th. And, uh,. Yeah, that's all there is to say, man. That is today's data download update. Shout out to Air Dokkan once again for posting everything. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these awakenings are you the most excited for. And uh, of course, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.